yes so uh, welcome everyone uh, to the technical training session so today we will just view how to upload the data from your python code from your laptop you can uh, write the python code and upload it to the ibm cloud account okay so firstly you need to install python ideally in your laptop okay so for that go to python.org so in the python.org go to downloads so the latest version here is python 3.11.0 but don't download it so the library which we are using it will work in python uh, sorry python 3.7.0 okay so this scroll here yeah you will get python 3.7.0 just click on download okay so if you go down so in the downloads you will have here yeah, Windows 8664 executable installer. So just click on this. So the file will be downloaded for you below. So once it is downloaded, just click on that. So here install now button is there that before that, I want everyone to listen here carefully. So here add Python 3.7 to path. Okay, just tick mark this okay yeah so once you just tick mark this click on install now click yes so once it is done so it will take little time to load so once it is completed i'll show you the next steps Yes, so here you can see the setup was successful. So once you get this message and just click on close. Okay, so I'm uh, uh, here in the search, just write Python. So it will show you Python 3.7 app 64 bit, right? Just open this. it will take some time to open for the first time but yeah in your systems it may open fast okay i just opened terminal but not here okay you can just close this i we require ideally so to type id yeah so ideally you can type so python 3.7 64-bit okay ideally 3.7 guys so remember the version this is what you need to work other versions it will not uh, the uh, the library which we are using it will not work so that's the reason so let it load yes so you'll get this so i already have the code so i'll just open it and also i'll be just attaching it uh, to the video description you can just go through the code or you can just copy paste it okay so if you go to desktop, yes, so you can see the code now. Okay, so here we have import time, import system, import IBM IoT F dot application, import IBM IoT F dot devices and random. Okay, so time system random, these functions are already available, but IBM IoT f so this you will not find in your system you have to download it for that just open command prompt for that just click on cmd so if you type cmd you'll get the command prompt just click on it so here you can just write pip install ibm iot f okay so this command also i'll just put it in the description so the command is pip install IBM IoT F and just click enter. So it will just say collecting IBM IoT F and it will just start loading. So it will show 100% many, many times it will just load. 
and then it will just uh, show you success okay so so and so number of packages it will show let us wait so parallelly you people can also do it and you can just pause the video and just do it come back pause the video and again do it okay so it will be easy for you people to do in that way yeah so we got some uh, warning so warnings there are no issues okay don't worry about the warnings so due to version errors or something it happens but no problem okay yeah so lastly i'm getting c and a user like this so this is completed so it is successfully installed okay i'm just closing the command prompt as it is successfully installed so my ibm iotf uh, uh, library is downloaded so now here i have to give the organization details device type device id authentication method is token and authentication token is uh, this is also we will get it online okay in your ibm cloud you will get it in walk we to ibm video i have already explained how to get these details how to create the device and get this but again i'll explain you here also how to get them okay so don't worry about it uh, after the explanation of code i'll just explain that so here def my command callback cmd so print so here command received so and so received whatever data is there it will just show here cmd status cmd dot data and command so in the technical training sessions also i have just explained what is cmd here dot data what is command why we are keeping it and all the details so if you want in detail explanation also you can just go to the technical training sessions video and just click see it okay so after that what how you the data whatever is coming from the ibm cloud it will store here in the cmd dot data okay and uh, that command whatever is there we are storing it in status okay the variable status so if status double equal to light on so the led is on if else if okay elif status double equal to light off led is off okay and you are just printing it so if you are using any other sensor or some other names or something like that it will go it will just come and store in status so whatever you want to compare okay just write it in this so that it will just compare and inside whatever strings and whatever data you are putting it will automatically run those details and else please send proper command okay so then try so it will start connecting to the device organization details and everything whatever we have provided to the ibm iotf uh, uh, through the library it will connect to the cloud and exception if some exception is caught it will throw an error okay so it is saying caught exception connecting device so and so so your organization or type or id or some something is error so something is not correct okay or type at least so that's why you are getting error make sure the brackets and everything is properly given quotation so that it, you will not get any error okay so device client could connect so it will just try to connect then while true so here i am just taking temperature is equal to random dot radiant 90 comma 110 okay so my uh, here i'm just taking temperature sensor so if you are having gps module or if you are having any other sensors uh, soil moisture sensor ultrasonic sensor you can put a random function and just store that variable and send it to the database okay so send it to your ibm cloud that is enough no problem okay then humidity also i'm taking so data equal to bracket open temperature uh, comma temp humid comma humid okay is to humid and def so i mean i'm writing the normal function here publish callback okay so i'm just call uh, sending these details to the cloud then success it will just show everything all the details and say connected to i not uh, sending all the details if not success then it will show not connected to iotf okay and device callback my call my call my command callback so the above uh, function will run if there is any data coming to the python code okay so here temperature and humidity data we are sending from python code to ibm iot uh, ibm cloud and here my command callback anything from cloud to our uh, devices okay in that way in the python code you will get it and device client dot disconnect at the end it will just disconnect okay if you are not running the code so now i'll just open my ibm iot cloud uh, so for that just type cloud.ibm.com okay so if you just type cloud.ibm.com it will just open so give your credentials here uh, i'll just pause my screen and i'll just log in give me a minute yes so once uh, it is installed 
the IBM IoT will open like this. Just go to resources and just type IoT. Okay. So if you just type IoT, Internet of Things platform is available here. Just click on that. Okay. So if you have already created Internet of Things platform, okay, the create button will not be enabled here, okay, because in one free plan, you can only create one IBM, one IoT platform, okay, only one account. So that's the reason if I click here also, the, uh, it will say here existing light plan instance already account is there. So click on view the existing instance here, okay, so you can just create one in uh, go to instance if already there if not if it's for the first time you're coming here just tick mark this and click on create okay so it will just take some time and then take it to your yeah take to your ibm iot uh, okay not now where you have to click on launch button here Yes, so this page you will get, okay? And click on the launch button here. And many people are saying, if I click on the launch button, I'm getting a blank page. Just refresh your page, guys, okay? Multiple times you have to refresh, then you will get it, okay? If not, uh, after clicking, if you're getting the blank space, just go to inspect, your developer tools is there. Just open this inspect and then click on the launch button, okay? So it will verify itself and again, open it properly, okay? So it is taking some time to load. And if it is happening the same for you, just reload the page, guys. Yeah, so it is saying session expire. So you can just give your credentials again and then log in, okay? So I'll just give my credentials and then I will uh, uh, again cast my screen, okay, one minute. So yes, so here you can see uh, that I have uh, completed the login process. So if you just click on the profile here, so you'll have your organization ID, just click on the organization ID. So it will just redirect now to your devices, okay? So I want everyone uh, to do it parallelly. And also if you want, you can stop, pause the video and verify it, do it. And if there is loading issues also, just pause the video, complete it, and then come back, okay? So here, uh, I've already created the device one, two, three, four, five, okay? So I have shown you how to create this in Walkway to uh, IBM Cloud uh, video. So just, uh, just before video, so just go to that video and see if you want to create the new device, okay? So I have already created it. So in that way, I'll just click on this. Okay, so here I have device ID is 12345. So I'll just keep the same uh, here. So my organization ID is same. Device type is ABCD. Device ID is 12345. And authentication method is token. And auth token 12345678. For getting your auth token, again, uh, you have to see your uh, walk me to IBM video. So in that, I have say, explained exactly how to get this token also. Okay, so now I'm just clicking run, run module. And uh, okay, before that I have to save it. Okay, it is auto saved. Yeah, it started here. Yes, you can see the published temperature is 95 and 78. Okay, a random value is published, which is 95 and 78. So let me uh, I'll just, uh, sorry, I'll just minimize the code. So here you can see the device is now connected. It will show connected because we are running the IBM, uh, we are running the Python code. And here in the recent events, if you go, so here it has to show you the uh, data, okay? So, yeah, so here you can see you have organization, device type, device ID, token, all these details, right? So exactly to this details, the uh, data will be sent, okay? And here you can see 98 and 61, 95 are the values uploaded, right? So yes, you can see 95, 
and 82 is the latest value 95 and 82 before that 102 and 61 right so in that way you are getting all the data okay so this is just recent events and accordingly you can send this data to the node red and from node red i've already explained you a video on node red event so just go through the node red also and uh, you can send this device data to the node red event okay so yes thanks everyone so next video i'll be uploading on uh, how to connect your ibm iot uh, this device data to your mit app inventor okay